What is going on guys? So last time we worked on our Back of the Future inspired 88 mile an hour go-kart build, Ike did 73.9 miles an hour with our 20 horsepower 9,000 RPM Predator 212 engine. We talked a lot about what to do to get this go-kart to go faster. We talked about gearing, we talked about turbocharging, uh, we talked about nitrous oxide even, but we both think the best thing to do is to stick that engine on a more race oriented frame. But today is a rainy day, so we're gonna be accessorizing our American Express 2.0 to turn it into a DeLorean like the time machine from the Back of the Future movies. So we have a bunch of goodies to throw on here. We have a flux capacitor that I found for $30 on Etsy. We need to make some repairs to it because it arrived broken. I ordered a custom out of time license plate that was probably $12 shipped. And uh, we have hubcaps or wheel covers. I don't know what to call them. The wheels that we have on this car are really cool but uh, they don't look anything like the time machine wheels on the DeLorean, so this is what we got. Yep, and I, I really thought that wheels would be critical to the look, so we're able to work something out with a local guy who has a water jet and he was able to cut these out for us. We're gonna be talking about more later. Uh, we also need to make a couple modifications to the frame. Not really modifications, but we just need to clean up the welds that we made the other right. day. I'm gonna start by taking this wheel off. Nailed it. I had to mess John up. I had to do a halfway decent job over here. And his OCD's kicking in. Can't even tell we welded, that's for sure. Good. It's not looking bad. There we go. We can flop it in and Woo. not worry about the... Uh... It was good, man. Our buddy Drew at Atlantic Design and Manufacturing hooked us up with those wheel covers. He designed them and cut them with a water jet. So we have a link to his... Uh, website in the description if you want to check them out or if you need any water jetting done. But so far I'm really happy with that. So while Ike is figuring out the hub and wheel cover situation, I'm gonna go ahead and put our license plate on. Like I said, I ordered this online for like 12 or 15 bucks. It's four by seven inches, same size as a motorcycle tag, and I'm just gonna throw it on with some zip ties. We wanted to space the front wheels out a little bit more, so I cut a longer spacer, but we need to run out to the store to grab some quarter by 28 bolts, a torque converter from our storage spot and some big washers to make the rims work on the rear. See y'all in a second. All right, that'll look like it'll work. We'll tack weld, tack weld, tack weld, three long nut bolts, and uh, this will go on the shaft. So we just got back from the store looking for bolts. Uh, we got the bolts and it didn't turn out exactly what we wanted. What I decided to do was just cut the ends off of our bolts. What I do is I thread a nut halfway on and then I thread that onto the existing bolts coming out of the hub and what we get is this. It looks pretty darn good. Not bad. Oh, got that one a little crooked. <coughs> So we have the three inch spacer and now we have the wheel. I have the big nut holding the wheel on now and I'm going to thread three more. And we put these nuts here to space our hub cap from hitting that nut right there. A lot of nuts. So since this go-kart 70 mile an hour days are behind it, we're gonna stick a stage one 212 on it with a torque converter. It's gonna give it killer acceleration off the line and a decent top speed, and uh, it's more friendly to put around with than a traditional clutch. You can find links in the description of this video, but you can get 10% off the performance kit and the torque converter with our discount code CC10. What I made was a floating washer with studs, and it goes right on the axle there and then you put the axle bolt or nut on there it's a job getting it up there we put the engine down on it to see how things would line up with mounting our flex capacitor and it's just it just came together in like a second 
just with a torque converter and the engine sitting on it with a license plate and the wheels. So in the movie, the flux capacitor is behind the seat, right? Yes, between the seats. Right. Between the buckets. Yeah. We don't have buckets. We don't have buckets. So we're going to be cutting a hole in the seat and sinking the flux capacitor down inside the seat so that whenever you, you know, whenever someone isn't riding it, they're going to be able to see the flux capacitor sitting in there. And we just want to make sure that the engine wouldn't be in the way. It's going to be close, but we should be fine. Well, we, we did kind of put the seat on while it was a little wet. The paint was sticky. Ho, 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 ho. Pick it up from the front. There you go. All right, I'll take care of the seat. Thanks, man. Now the fun part. Like I said, it might look terrible. We'll put the box in and hopefully it'll cover up that stuff. Ah. I think that's pretty good. I thought it was gonna be more like, uh, I, I think I like how, uh, how it kind of dips in like that. Well, I didn't want our backs to be on it. Right, it's more enunciated. Uh, when I cut this big chunk out, I mean, we're, we're taking a lot of uh, structural rigidity out of this backing plate here. So I'm gonna be welding a longer piece in and I'm also gonna be boxing it in with angle iron as well. What are we gonna do about it? There's nothing we can do. I messed up. John is talking about the runs that I put in the paint on the back, but you know, it's on the back. This has so much potential to be like near perfect. And as long as no one tells y'all about it, <laughs> y'all aren't gonna know about it. Oh yeah. Nice dude. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. Except for those wrinkles. Yeah, the, the power supply is not great. Oh, the wrinkles. Eh, well, that's all right. They might go away after time. Got to uh, trim that torque converter a little bit, don't we? Oh, or, yeah, we're having a little fitment issue with the torque converter. It needs to be trimmed just like a little bit, or we can just put like two or three washers under it. The engine, the torque converter, the sprocket, and the chain is all on and tight, and we went with a 71 to 35 chain sprocket. 71 teeth is almost as big as they come, so we're gonna have some really, really solid acceleration up until about 30 miles an hour, especially with the torque converter. This thing is gonna go from zero to 30 in probably two or three seconds. Ike welded some pedal stops on, and uh, he's working on running the wire conduit to match the, uh, the movie car. Well, man, with a couple things here and there, I think we got ourselves a time machine. Yeah, man. I think the wheels especially give it a good look. Yeah. Uh, the tubing down the side is a nice touch. Mm -hmm. Of course, the flux capacitor. Oh, the flux capacitor makes it, dude. But we need to see how fast it goes now. How fast our show cart goes now. 32. 29.9. Oh, yeah? <laughs>
Hey man. What happened? What I forget to tighten? You didn't forget to tighten anything. Oh. That's interesting. That's why I like to use the impact. Yeah, I know. Because we can't get it tight enough by hand. I know, I just don't like want to strip it or something with the impact. That's why I don't <laughs> well, like to use it. It works better with the impact. I guess make sure to use an impact on your torque converter, guys. A little bit more. Oof. Ah. Oof. That's tight. Yeah. Now I get to go again. Yes. Well, how are we I doing? The engine just locked up. We had oil in it, right? Yes, we just ran this engine last week and it definitely had oil in it. So you felt the engine just lock up? Well, it's either that or it's... Oh, wow. Uh, yep. So, hey, 38.4 miles an hour. Was it low on oil? Not that low. Yeah. Oh. Dude, I wonder, we removed the governor. Yep. Remember what happened to mine when we removed the governor with the stock rod? The dipper broke. Did we do it again? Maybe, but you had a really aggressive cam and springs in it. This is... But we removed the governor. Well, that's a plot twist. It sure is. Um, we had oil in it. Yes, we did. I thought we were having problems with the torque converter. It's not that. Uh, the motor tried logging itself up. And uh, now I'm here to ride not. Yeah. So, I guess we need to take this engine apart and see what's going on. Yep and get another one. <laughs> well, uh, I can probably use this engine with my engine. Oh, that's true. Yep, you've wanted to swap all your parts over to a new one. Yep. We've gotten like over a dozen Predators and this is the first one. Yeah, I, he was trying to pull start it and the handle came back and hit him in right in the pectoral. Well, this is a, a sad, sad... Yeah, this is a end, sad ending, dude. End to this video. It's not supposed to end like this. You did 38 miles an hour. Yeah. 38.4. But I was having problems before that. Other than that, what do y'all think of the uh, <laughs> go-kart? I wish we can go back in time. Leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today, guys. I know we didn't get a Mr. Fusion on it, but I think we nailed pretty much everything else. Uh, maybe a couple little things here and there, like the, the black things that come out of the, the roof, out of the back. Out of the back. Yeah. The little we, scoops. Yeah, the little scoops. We can do something with that maybe in the future, but... Uh, we're, we're trying to plan a skit, like some kind of Back to the Future uh, inspired skit where we, where we travel back in time or into the future. That'd be cool, dude. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to get a new engine on this and then, uh, and then do that. So yeah, if you have any like ideas for a plot for our mini skit, let us know. I would love to hear some of y'all's ideas. Um, uh, but yeah, Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. A little bummed, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't forget, Torque Converter and Performance Kit at GoPowerSports.com and use our discount code CC10 to get 10% off to get yourself a good deal and to show your support for us as well. Anyway, we will see you next time with a new engine. And finally, July 21st, 2018 at 10 a.m., we're going to be at Busco Beach. We're going to meet a bunch of you guys out there, uh, and we're going to do some riding, some drag racing, and some more fun activities. So see you all guys out there. And uh, we'll see you next time.